Hey yo, what's goody all my beautiful people out there in the tube of the U? It's your boy J Nut over here at Hukanuka, and today I got a brand new review for all of you. All right, so what's goody, everybody? Welcome back. Today is a video from the Formula series. You know what it is from the title of the video, but we are reviewing Fantasia's Formula series, Formula 2. Bang, bang, bang! And before we actually get into the review, I want to say on the first video, I said, if you don't like it, you get your money back. Well, I guess I kind of misinterpreted that and added that in there. You don't get your money back, but it's clearly printed on the box what the guarantee is. And if you want to go back to that video and pause it, feel free to do so. But I just wanted to clear that up real quick. If you don't like it, you're not satisfied with it, then they'll replace it um, with another one. So that's the guarantee, which is still pretty awesome. But let me get back into smelling this, shall we? So upon the smell, I'm honestly going to say that this reminds me of Million Dollar Flavor. Now, I haven't smoked Million Dollar Flavor in years, but what I remember of it, this totally reminds me of that. It's just a really sweet, almost Kool-Aid type of flavoring. Pretty interesting. And real quick, I just wanted to show you the cut on this again. Same as Formula One. You got that brown, non-dyed, natural color, choppy type cut. And uh, there you go. Today, uh, I am smoking out of my Shika Mini Halal. I am rocking the Alien Bowl. And as you can see, uh, we're rocking two of the Fantasia Airflow Charcoals. Bang, bang, bang. Coconut, might I add. And I told you, these things are huge. But I will get into a review of this. Just wanted you to see how they basically perform. So, um... On the smell, like I said, it reminds me of Million Dollar Flavor. Um, I really didn't know what that was back then. It just reminded me of sweet Kool-Aid, maybe like a cherry Kool-Aid or tropical punch. I'm, I'm still not quite sure to this day. But let's see how that flavor translates into the smoke. Yeah, honestly, if memory serves me correct, this just reminds me of Fantasia Million Dollar Flavor, but definitely with a little bit better quality as far as the smoke. I feel like it's a little more body than Fantasia, Fantasia was in the past. I am getting a little bit of that bubblegummy essence like I described in Formula One, so that's definitely there. Again, this is gonna be something that I recommend to the um, newcomers to hookah. It's not necessarily a go-to flavor, but it is very nostalgic because I really love Million Dollar Flavor. I think that was actually the first flavor I've ever smoked uh, when I smoked hookah. So smoking it out of a good hookah and not like a cheap Chinese hookah, that's a difference in itself and an experience. But uh, I'm actually digging this. All right, so let's go ahead and check out some of those clouds. Nice, thick, white-bodied Stormtrooper clouds. Uh, you're definitely going to get that with this Formula series, I've noticed. I have smoked uh, most, not all of the flavors, but uh, I've been noticing a consistency in cloud output, so thumbs up on that Fantasia Formula series. Now, another thing I want to add in these 250 series and probably any other sizes that they come with, uh, you are going to receive this in a sealed bag. It's taped up and it's sealed, it actually is a Ziploc type bag. So uh, for those of you that were concerned with the packaging, I wouldn't recommend to store it like that. If you noticed, I just emptied it out the bag and put it in the can. This isn't a metal can, so I'm not you know, scared of it rusting, but I did try to store it in this and it just kept leaking. So I was like, it's leaking all over the place. Let me just empty it out of the bag and store it in the container. And that's what I found works best for me. Now, as far as mixing this, I don't think you need to do that with Formula 2. Um, it's actually not a warm smoke. It's a, it's a pretty crisp, bright smoke. 
so I don't even feel the need to mix it with mint, which is awesome because I always mix mint with everything, but I really don't think you need it in this. If you wanted to mix this with other things, I think it's fairly strong enough to where it will hold its own. It's pretty bold in that aspect, so you don't have to, have to worry about other flavors overpowering it in a mix. But if you wanna know if you need to mix this with a mint or not, you really don't. It doesn't have any type of cooling effect to it. It's just a really bright flavor, so I don't feel you need to add that mint to it. But uh, if you wanted to mix it with other things, I don't think it would hurt. And like I said, the flavor is strong enough to where you won't lose it in a mix. So overall, I think this is definitely worth a try. Uh, if you were a fan of Fantasia's Million Dollar Flavor, I think you should definitely go out and try this. I think you almost owe it to yourself to try it because it is a little bit better in quality. You could just tell it from the moment you smoke it. So I do like that about it. I just learned that these are going to be available, the whole formula series at fivestarhookah.com. Big shout out to Alex and Mary, always holding it down for your boy. So if you wanna go over there and check out the site, you could get 15% uh, off anything that's not already on sale if you type in my discount code, JNUG. So go ahead and type that in, get your little discount and thank me later. So that's gonna wrap up the review. We have six more to go, and then we also have a review on the Coles, so stay tuned for that. Amongst other things, we have a, plenty more reviews coming your way. So uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up, and I will take you out properly. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Don't forget to slap a like on this. Please feel free to share it on social media, and uh, deuces.